gonna have to do this pretty quick because I have to go to work actually and I'm running late. But I've been meaning to do this video for so long that I'm just gonna hurry up and do it. So this is a product that the queen of makeup, the queen of YouTube, has made me want to buy, which is Nikki Tutorials, of course. That's the Juvia's Place Foundation. I don't know if she did the conceal. I know she did this, but I got both of them while they were on sale. This retails for $20. This, I think, around the same price, maybe a little cheaper. I think a little cheaper, but I'm going to use both of them. So this is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. So oh, here's the description. Our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft, natural, and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage. A great formula to even out the complexion, refine skin texture, and erase blemishes. That's good. And maintaining the initial finish throughout the day. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and oily. So let's put on some primer. This is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. Love it. That really makes your skin glow. <laughs> okay. I've had this for quite some time, so seems small. So I got Ballet 720, so hopefully that works. I know a little goes a long way, so hopefully that's the right shade. I'm horrible ordering offline. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if this is my right shade, but we'll make it work. I have a lot of redness around my nose, so I want to make sure that's at least covered because bad. I don't know if I'm having an allergic reaction to something or what, but it's not good. <laughs> so this is the first foundation that's been remotely able to cover up my scar, which is impressive in itself to be able to do that. I think I got the color correct though. It's kind of building up in my nose, but that's just skin basically. I'm always wary about matte um, foundations just because my skin tends to be like normal to combination but towards the winter months it's more dry and my skin's been having some issues lately. Like first of all I just put a little bit you saw it on my hand not much and the coverage is absolutely amazing. Like it is buildable too. It's definitely full coverage. I would say uh, Nikki Tutorial definitely had it on the nose with how full coverage this is. Like, this is amazing. Let me turn down the light maybe a little bit. Like, even that, like, this is barely any light. Like, I feel like the color's amazing. Love it. If I, like, got the right shade for this, it probably would cover up immediately. But then I would have to put foundation all the way down my neck, though. But, like, I'm I'm impressed. Oh. And you can see that Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer just glowing. So moving on. This is the concealer. So our Magic Creamy Radiant Concealer smoothens and cancels out dark circles, blemishes, and skin imperfections. Love Radiant, just saying. Because your under eyes crease because of dryness. That's why you shouldn't bake, most likely. Some people can bake and that's fine for their skin, but for me, it just makes me age. I don't know if I saw this was on sale. I didn't even know this was a product for that. I just really wanted the um, foundation because I heard about it. Once again, to blend this, I'm not gonna use a beauty blender because I feel like with concealers, it works better with a brush because it doesn't soak up as much and I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. I got this in 23, is that the name of it? I'm trying to do this quick because like I said, I gotta be at work in like an hour, 30 minutes, something like that. Hopefully it is radiant. That was supposed to be a soft matte. It's already like in my smile line on this side, but not this side, which is funny, I think. Of course, like it builds in my nose, but like, this finish is actually really pretty. I think it's mostly because of this. 
and I'm sorry if I'm talking very quietly. I just don't want to interrupt anyone that's in the house <laughs> or my dogs. But okay, so um, but like I said, I'm using the rare beauty. Doing like that triangle is way too much. You can do like one dot or two dots in your corner, one dot out or opposite. And he was saying how like that's actually better and all. This foundation is a little bit light, but let me put it actually on the nose. That's a lot. And right there. And for the center of my face, I blend it out with a beauty sponge. That's like amazing coverage as well. Like, wow. It's maybe like one shade, one or two shades lighter than I go. But I feel like if it oxidizes, it will be great. And this is shade 23. I guess they don't have names. They probably do, but I don't know. I wish I had my phone to give you more like information on it, but I don't. So after I do my shift and stuff, I will definitely come back on and tell you guys more information on it as well as how it wears throughout the day and stuff stuff like that but I'll be back in a few seconds to tell you how makeup applies over top of it how powder helps so I got done with my makeup my skin still looks very luminous which is because of that primer but like my nose peeling right now which kind of bothers me I don't really know if I'm having like like an allergic reaction maybe to my face wash or something so I started using a new one or what but like my cheeks and my nose are really bad and that's kind of why I didn't put like a second layer on this because I didn't want to suffocate it in a way because right now it looks really good is in my smile line just a little bit but that's kind of given for me but the concealer it's holding up it has not creased whatsoever and I'm happy with the coverage I'm happy with the shade I picked too and I feel like this foundation is gonna be like one of my holy grails or something because oh I like it and I'm shocked because it's matte and I don't really like matte foundations it's supposed to be a soft matte but it still says matte but yeah so far so good I will see you guys in probably I don't know I have a nine hour shift and then I have an interview, well, not an interview, but I have an appointment after that. So I'll see you after the appointment, I guess. Bye. Just got home from work. Um, Let me tell you something. My face still looks luminous, which I love. Um, It has like clung, clung to some of my dry patches. But not much, like it's barely noticeable. I just notice it because I'm like right, right up close. But it's like not really in my smile lines and under eyes aren't really creased. Which is amazing because I did a nine hour shift with a freaking mask on my face. So the fact that it held up through that. Also, like whenever like I touch my face, there's no foundation that rubs off on my fingers. Which is like one of the biggest problems with foundation because it always does that and it annoys me that it does that so yeah this didn't really do that it did like in my nose it like built up but that's usually normal but like this is like i really like my makeup let me turn off the light so you can kind of see it in natural light bulb light but like you can see like my skin is very like it looks oily a little bit but that's easily common it did like cling to like right here you can see a little bit but like not really like my smile lines my concealer looks amazing like I think I found a new favorite <laughs> because the fact that it's only $20 and it's full coverage and 
even though it's sama matte or whatever soft matte i think it said it works for my skin also like though like the line itself like is so i feel like so inclusive <laughs> um and yeah it i was shocked i got my right shade but i did nikki tutorials hit this right on the head is that the saying <laughs> it's i'm i'm impressed i'm really impressed and i think i found my new foundation concealer for when i'm at work with the mask on <laughs> but yeah let me know if you guys ever tried this or if different foundation that you love instead but yeah thanks for watching Peter Pan, that's what they call me. Promise that you never be